All right, guys, let's talk about it, man. My very first experience using Flight Club. I'll be 100% honest. I don't need to lie. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. Flight Club is one of the most well-known um, sneaker resellers in the United States. Um, Flight Club is very popular. It's a popular place where a lot of people go and shop that don't know any other source, any other resources, I guess, or any other places. They don't know of any other places where they could get these sold out uh, Jordan sneakers, Nike sneakers, whatever it is. Flight Club is a place where a lot of people that really don't know these places go to spend their money, which stinks because they're getting like hit over the head tremendously. Ever since they started working with Go, they have like the same prices as uh, they're very competitive but you're getting your product and it's gonna take way longer I went on flightclub.com I ordered these rebellionaires it's crazy because a lot of people are making these rebellionaire videos um, of their shoes being fake so I'm already I'm, I'm mentally prepared to just to see what's gonna happen I, I I seen that these came from DHL Hong Kong the one thing that really made me mad isn't really that they came from overseas the thing that made me upset is that I placed the order, and I'll show uh, timestamps or emails right here. I placed the order, I believe it was on the 9th. It was either right before or right after the Rebellionaires released. I expected the sneaker to come uh, right away because it was coming from Flight Club. So, like, one thing that I do not understand is why are these people selling sneakers that they don't have in stock? Why do you they take your money and then they go find your sneaker, which is what's going on now because of... Uh, Go and Flight Club have a partnership with Hong Kong, I guess, uh, the retailers out there or their resellers out there. It's a partnership. And some of this makes me wonder if they are taking sales away from actual people like me and you who have the sneaker in hand and are ready to sell and ship that day. And I wonder if you if you have a certain price, right? And let's say the buyer uh, buys that item. I'm wondering if Go is intercepting that sale and giving it to the part partners that they have out in Hong Kong. I, it just seems fishy to me that every single time I order from Go, um, it's a Hong Kong or StockX, it's coming from Hong Kong. Um, something's going on that we really don't know of and we really don't have an explanation for. Although this is a flight club app review, I just want to let you guys know what's going on in the sneaker game because a lot of you guys might not know. So anyway, I placed the order March 9th. Uh, I'm waiting. A uh, week goes by. Um, I received a tracking number uh, maybe a couple of days after I placed the order. It said DHL, Hong Kong, whatever. Cool. All right. Cool. These guys are shipping right away. Sweet. I can't, you know, can't wait to get my shoes. And then oh, a couple weeks go by and I check the tracking on DHL that they gave me and there's no movement at all. Nothing. It just says that the the thing has the label has been created or whatever and there's no no movement at all on the box right on the package on the shoe so i start to worry and i hit him up uh, maybe a week a week or two oh maybe a week after i hit him up and i was like hey man there's no movement on the tracking number that you guys gave me for dhl so the guy tells me that uh due to covid 19 they cannot ship the shoes that they're having issues shipping with shipping due to COVID-19. That is crazy to me, bro. Like such a sorry excuse. I'm sorry, guys. Everybody's moving. The world is moving. We're finding ways around COVID. I'm not buying it. You know, I'm not buying it. So it says that due to COVID, whatever, you know, the shipping progress has slowed down. You know, they're going to use the COVID car. So I'll give them a couple weeks. So three weeks goes by, guys. I had to threaten a flight club with a chargeback. Uh, my last email to the guy or to whoever it was that answered me and told me that they were slow due to COVID, I told them, hey, look, if I don't get my product out by uh, the next couple of days, I'm going to go to the bank and file a chargeback. It took that for them to then ship my sneakers and I finally got some kind of movement on the shoes and they got here quick right after they did that. I don't know if they forgot about my order, whatever, but... For them to not answer me after two weeks, I didn't get an answer after two weeks, guys, because I did, prior to the chargeback uh, threat that I sent them, um, I did ask them, like, hey, man, what's going on? You know, after the COVID thing, I did, I believe I sent them maybe one or two emails, like, telling them, like, how poor their service was and that I needed my shoes or, or refund me my money. That's what I told them. And finally, uh, threatening them with a chargeback. If you guys are having issues, if you guys threaten them with a the chargeback, more than likely, they're going to ship your shoe. So as soon as I threatened them with the chargeback two days or or maybe I think it was just the next day the following day I, I seen a tracking um, and I seen that they actually that they were in the process of processing the, the package uh, to get shipped to the United States so yes it took about 20 days uh, to receive 
my my sneakers which I mean it is what it is bro it's a long process so this one uh, for me the flight club experience was terrible absolute trash I'm sorry to say that um, it was just completely um, I felt completely ignored by them I believe that if you have a business and somebody reaches out to you you need to you know especially if you're charging like $200 over retail of, on a sneaker and, and and on the resale market you should be more uh, I guess you should just be answering your customers with with more urgency instead of uh, putting them off and you don't even know what's going on your customer just doesn't know what's going on it was just a terrible experience guys i'm about to unbox these for you guys right here i know it took a while but this isn't really an unboxing video i'm just opening them up because you know they happen to come from flight club so the last thing i need right now is to get a questionable pair flight club packaging is going to be great you know and it's not really flight club it's hong kong whoever they are partnered with in hong kong that's where you're going to get your packaging uh, package from or whatever but look at this we got a little scratch right here no big deal it is what it is we got the box the rebillionaire box the x you guys already know the history about the jordan one how the nba tried to ban jordan for his uh his jo his sneakers if you uh, up until like 2018 there was they still had regulations on sneakers we got a little dent right here on the box here's a china sticker that people are getting the little china sticker a lot of these do have that Sticker doesn't always mean that it's fake. That's not a big sign that it's fake. You still have to legit check and here is the font and everything. Super annoying dude. Like for uh, these companies to be shipping stuff from China and stuff like that, it's getting annoying. Like I I'm getting to the point where it's like I have to do extra work just to make sure my sneakers are legit, right? Because they're partnered with these people. These and I don't know if these people even have integrity or they even care. I'm not sure like the people that they're partnered with how, how do we know that they're doing their job because the whole point is that go they um, they're saying that their job is to legit check your sneakers and so is StockX but they're partnered up with these guys how are these guys legit checking their sneakers because they're not coming directly from um, from the retail stores so I don't know if they're using the same process that StockX and GOAT are doing but they're supposed to abide by legit checking their sneakers how do they know that these partners that they're partnered with are actually legit checking sneakers you know that's that's the one thing that I find weird there's a lot number right here if you guys see that I have to do my research on these shoes uh, maybe just kind of look to see what the retails came with but I mean the box feels good it doesn't feel it's, it's not flimsy or nothing it feels good it's actually pretty hard Here's the papers, guys. The papers that it comes with and all that. Um, and here is a flight club tag that it comes with. Here's the shoe. The shoe looks cool. Um, they have the Chinese stamp on the inside, the little insole. I don't know if you guys can see that. Make that out. But the little, the little size sticker. Let's see here what else do we got that's all we have for these are billionaires I wish that we could get a place where we could just know where our shoes are coming from and and we could accept or, or decline whether we want the shoes to come from that that uh, area you know even though sneakers are made overseas you know doesn't mean that stuff is gonna be fake but just because you're getting it from Hong Kong or China or whatever. It does make you, like, I'm not going to lie, it does make you feel weird. It makes you want to kind of go through your sneakers. Nah, man, my midsole is pretty hard, dude. Like, look, you see that? That's very hard. It's, it doesn't squish. It doesn't fold like a taco. i seen some dude that he was squishing his shoe and it, it would just fold like a taco, bro. This doesn't, this is not, nah. It's actually very firm midsole. So, yeah, guy, whoever it was, um... Yeah, bro, you probably did get a fake because nah, these things are hard, dude. Like, like, <sighs> you see that? Like, I'm actually trying and I can't fold it in. So yeah, this this pair seems pretty good. It doesn't smell odd or nothing like that. I know a lot of these were sitting. I believe this is a pretty good pair, bro. I'm, just by looking at it, the smell, everything about the shoe. These look like uh, a lot of videos that I've seen, they came a little bulky. But uh, yeah, the shoe looks good. I like it. I'm cool. I'm happy. I'm happy with the shoe. I'm not happy with the service. The sneakers came in good though. Let me try this one. You can see that I'm actually trying. And now it's not folding, bro. 
I don't want to break my sneaker, but yeah, it's not, it's not doing what that guy's, <laughs> what that guy's sneaker did. Ooh. I feel sorry for that guy, man. Fight Club, your your service sucks. Customer service sucks. I give you guys one star. I give you guys a one star rating, bro. Just for showing up to work. But your service sucks. It's it's terrible. It's your your customer service. Clean that up a bit. Um, your packaging and everything, great. Overall, great. I don't know who you're partnered up with. Luckily for me, this shoe looks good, man. Um, it's not it's not a bad. It doesn't look like a bad shoe, man. You know, and it feels great. It has good materials. Like I said, that dude that made that video, I don't know. Your shoe was bad, dude. But, um, yeah. Flight Club, thank you for my shoe. I, I'm happy with it. Um, I'm satisfied. As far as the sneaker goes, your service was terrible, and that's why I will not be using you no more. I don't recommend their service, guys, but at the end of the day, you do what you want to do. You guys are free to do whatever you want. I'm out of here, man. Y'all take it easy. Never sleazy. Saludos. Hasta luego. On to the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Um, and if you are new to the channel, you could definitely subscribe, bro. I mean, what do you got to lose? You could either check it out for a little bit, check out the content that I've created. And if you don't like it, just don't subscribe. Or just don't do, don't do nothing at all. Just don't. It's up to you. I'm out of here, man. Peace. Hasta luego. Bye.